Are you creating goals for this year, but you also want to ensure that you stick to them and not fall off track? If so, this is for you. Hi, I'm John Evans and welcome to The Hack Share. If you're new here, I'm a life coach and I produce weekly podcasts centered around self-help and mental health. I also share my own essential tips and insights to help you. I'm dedicated in helping you elevate, improve your mental well-being, and become more successful. So now we're in 2021 after the most challenging year we have all faced. Many of us may be feeling optimistic and are thinking or may have even started setting 2021 goals. However, how many of you have had the same optimism year after year? You set the goals, but then you find that over time, the goal disappears. So here are my top three tips to help you stay on track. So number one, let's be real. Setting realistic goals is one of the main factors in goal setting. It's a common mistake to set too big of a goal and then become disheartened when we fail to achieve it. Setting realistic, achievable goals is the key in helping you stay on track. Whilst we should also think of the bigger, longer term goal, we have to be realistic of what we can achieve. But how do we know what's the realistic goal and what's not? A good way to set realistic goals is to reflect on your past achievements so you can figure out what is realistic for you. Reflect on the times where your goal setting fell off course. Now ask yourself, what was the motivation in taking you off your path when you failed to keep last year's resolution? Notice the patterns from previous attempts and ask yourself, if I was in the same position now, what would I do differently? With this year's goals, look at the overall picture and think to yourself, is this actually possible with everything that I currently have? Do I have all the skills and equipment required or do I need to invest more into myself to ensure that I'm on the right path for my goal to be achieved? Setting realistic goals is a personal journey and it's important to remember that by you wanting to make a change, it is you wanting to change your status quo for the better, which is absolutely amazing. Number two, simplicity is key. Another common mistake we make is by making our goals way too complicated. We have attempted to complete a transformation over every single area of our lives and try to fix everything at once. So this unfortunately won't work and you may fall off track quickly. So instead, try to keep it as simple as you can. Focus on one area at a time. A common New Year's goal is by exercising more. So if this is your goal, ask yourself, how can I break this down which is comfortable for me to begin with and then start expanding from there? You can apply this technique to any goal. Just think of the overall goal you want, break it down into smaller starting points and then expand. It'll be much easier to stick to your goal if you have a clear, simple focus. Trying to do too many things at once is bound to result in everything falling apart and then no change will happen. Simplicity is key. So once you start, you'll want to expand once you start seeing the results. Number three, tracking your evidence. Finally, to keep you on track, it is essential to track your progress. If we are working towards a goal and we cannot see our progression, we will more than likely immediately stop as we think that we aren't getting anywhere with this. Tracking your evidence helps you stay motivated to keep up with your New Year's goals and will give you the benchmarks to celebrate your achievements. A simple way of tracking progression is by journaling each time you work towards your goal. You can reflect easily on when you first started to where you are now. Journaling your goal progression will help you identify what went well, what didn't, what you can improve on so that you can identify the blockers from your progression forwards, but also celebrate your successes towards your goal. But if you'd like me to produce an episode on how I journal, do let me know. And finally, this is more of an extended tip. It's incredibly important not to be too hard on yourself. Yes, we can see other people progressing in the areas that we want success, which can make us feel that we aren't progressing as quickly. However, it is important to remember that if you are trying something new, then that's absolutely fantastic. Everyone starts somewhere. If you do feel disheartened and there is a fear of you moving off track, just ask yourself, when was the last time that I did something for the very first time? 
When was the last time that I did something for the very first time? We all have completed goals before and we all have started from scratch, but remembering the last time that you did something for the first time will help you visualize past successes to show that anything is possible. I hope this helps and please do subscribe and follow us on social media at The Hack Share. But if you do feel stuck in your life and you think, do you know what, I want some extra support, I do have a life coaching business which is at www.ths-life-coaching.com where I do have regular offers and I can consult via Zoom. I hope that will help you and get you to where you need to be in 2021. Thanks for tuning in and stay tuned for the next. Thank you. Bye-bye.